Lyme is an arts organization that works exclusively in healthcare to kind of improve the environment and the experience for patients and for staff. And before this building was even uh, built, uh, staff here got in touch with me and said they knew that they wanted art in their new building. And we have a long-standing partnership with Sale Grammar School, and we thought it was a perfect opportunity to involve them in this new building. Well, we're here in a hub of activity with some of the students involved in the Nightingale project. Tell us a little bit about what they're doing. Here they were currently working on the Unit 2, which is part of their Year 12 assessment. And the final piece for this Unit 2 will be assessed, but at the end it will be put into the Nightingale Centre, into one of the counselling rooms. It is a, a fantastic opportunity for students, I suppose, to get involved with the community. How important is that? I think it's extremely important because they understand about social responsibility and they get to contribute to making people's lives better through making their environment better through the artwork. It's a unique opportunity um, that even some artists, professional artists, don't manage to get. We got the brief and the brief said that we should do something around nature and natural form so I started taking some pictures and some photography and then I worked from there basically. In a hospital I think it's important that the patients need to have something around them so it cheers them up, something colourful and vibrant, that's what I thought of my work as well. I mean, I wanted to like take the patient's mind off things and kind of inspire them and cheer them up a bit and make it a bit more interesting for them. Before, the colours of the walls were quite dull and so now I hope that all our artworks can cheer the place up a bit. Well, the pupils have finished their artwork, it's been chosen and finally hung in the centre, so let's go and take a look. This room was very dull, very dreary, quite clinical, and we wanted it to be more vibrant, to be more sort of comforting. As you walk in, you, you smile, and it, it just lifts that, that sort of sense of, I'm in a hospital, to, no, we're in a place where it's nice to meet. A lot of the patients who come here say how calming it is, how soothing it is, how enjoyable it is, actually, just looking at our art here. It's really good to have something just to take their minds off it because when they, they come to this um, institution they're often very anxious and just to have something else to look at and divert their attention is very important. If the patients are more relaxed obviously the staff's job is a lot easier and certainly since we've moved we've had a long queue of people wanting to come and work here. Actually, the staff keep asking me for more artwork, uh, so I think that speaks for itself. And patients have been telling staff and myself how much they like the artwork. I've met the um, children involved in this project when they've been down. It's lovely to have uh, a showcase where they can exhibit their work. And it also promotes links with the local community and gets them involved and makes them aware of what is going on which I think will be beneficial to them for the future. There's a lot of talent out in the local community and we would really encourage, any, especially any of the art teachers that would like to get in touch with Lime Art, and they can get in touch with us via our website.